Good day and welcome back to another week of Talking Technical and thank you for all the requests and um, it looks like we um, experienced the shortest summer in history because it lasted about two days here in the middle of the career but um, it's a different story now. It's nice and cold and chilly but I think within a few days we'll start to feel that the summer is, is definitely in the air. Last week we definitely felt it for a few days but I mean strange things happen in these days but let's have a look at the first request that's capitech i mean capitech is that that chair that i showed a while back and i said listen there's a head and shoulder formation developing in this chart and i maybe just want to show the viewers there was the head and sh shoulder that worried me there you are oops i just want to put in that neckline remember this is a weekly chart and there was the left shoulder there was the head and it made a double shoulder and what happened it almost played into the t in actual fact it went a little bit lower than anticipated and um, everybody was just so surprised that this a top company like capitec can come under pressure and we've seen that before yes shares can come under pressure our target was 1607 and 30 and where did it go to can you believe it it first went that first initial drop was to about 1,540, but when it moved another way lower, it went to 1,338. But now I'm I'm a little bit positive about the share. But remember, this is a weekly view. This is not a, a short-term view. If I use that, I'm going to show you now that there's a beautiful descending channel here, developing, and that is usually a positive channel. But I've seen over the years that it a descending channel can really test your nerves because it can hover, hover, hover in that uh, channel and you think eventually I want to just give up and then before you give up it breaks to the top. But where's the first positivity? The first positivity is look at this 40-week moving average. The share is starting to consolidate above the 40-week moving average. Uh, that 40-week moving average sits at 1,681 grand and 46 cents. And where will it break up? It will break up above 1,765 rand and 20 cents. And can you believe it? This can take Capitec up all the way, almost to its previous high. And that will be positive. And I also see that the fundamentals on Capitec also tells us that they just produced some wonderful results. Now, the target for this will be the previous high of 2,295. It's so close to the previous high, it can easily reach it. But as always, it must first break this resistance line before we can get positive. And where's my stop loss? My stop loss will definitely be this 40-week moving average. And that sits at 1,675 rand and 80 cents. And by the way, if you are a reader of the candle of the day, you do get every day from Tuesdays to Fridays, you get two shares that you can uh, pick on. Uh, we show the chart, we show you the levels, we show you what we, we see. And the beauty of it, you can also learn. And then on a Saturday, we send out a newsletter covering mostly weekly charts to give you a longer term view. And the beauty about it, if you are a candle of the day subscriber, you can get five free choices in a month to ask do I like this share? What do I think about that? Give me levels on this share. So you've got five free top um, opinions that you can get from us. Either me or Christelle will do it, but um, that can also guide you in your thinking. If you must buy or you must sell or you must hold or you must take your profit, it's all your choice, but at least you can see it on the chart. Well, our next request is an old dog of the market in actual fact it remains a dog of the market and that is arcelor metal can you believe it i just want to take those two little lines out here um i mean this share is being hammered the last couple of days but i i do understand that i mean we're back on on uh, level six load shedding and it makes everybody nervous but what do we see maybe there's a tiny little um you can almost say possibility of a double bottom forming look at it there was the previous low at 166 there's another one it's now at 172 but i mean look at this ugly waterfall formation below the 40 week moving average and that tells you one thing that the momentum is clearly to the downside nothing can stop it and 
I will say, let's wait for the first sign of strength. And I will put my little candle there. There's the high. And what do we see? If we see a possible double bottom and you want to, to buy the share on this possibility of the double bottom, you must always look at the first sign of a possible turnaround and maybe the turn for upward momentum. And where will that be? That will be above 1 Rand and 83 cents. Above 1 Rand 83, we'll see the first sign of strength here. And if you do buy above 183, you can use a stop loss of 165 to protect your capital. And I mean, oh boy, oh boy, if this oak is going on, it, we can see 199. Can you believe it? From there in the next resistance. And remember, this is a weekly chart. It's 229. And then we can see 243. But while we're below this 40-week moving average, unfortunately, it's negative. And that 40-week moving average sits at 3 Rand and 65 cents. So while we're below that, unfortunately, the share is negative. The chart shows you that everybody is nervous. And you don't need to rush into this. But I think wait for the first sign of a change in momentum if you do want to buy it. In actual fact, this massive candle uh, shocked everybody. And since then, the share just ticked lower all the way from there. Well, our next request is Disney World. I mean, this is one of those giants of the world um, in the entertainment industry. And can you remember a few weeks ago, they started with all these new woke ideas um, of, of, of changing genders, changing whatever they want to change. And since then, the share took another hammering. I mean, just... From the beginning of the year, the share dropped from $117 to where it is now at $82.52. But the ugly part, can you believe it, that this share is trading at levels which you've seen last in COVID at 2020. But there's one thing that I would like to point out to you, and I just discussed it with a friend of mine this morning. I said to him, remember, if you look at a head and shoulder or an inverse head and shoulder, Always try to find it at the top of the chart or at the bottom of the chart. And what do we see here? Right here at the top, there was a head and shoulder in 2021 that warned everybody. And look at it. It is a clear, clear, clear pattern at the top of the chart. There's the left shoulder. There's the head. There's the right shoulder. And the neckline was $168.60. I mean, it played out to the full. In, in You can see here on the chart, I mean, there's the, the, um, the projection from the head to the neckline. Let's just do uh, it to the downside. Let's project it below the neckline. And what will you see? I just want to show you here. It will show you that it played out to the T. Let's just use that line there. There you are. You can see it played out 100% to the T. And since then, there was another tweezer top. And since then, it just dropped. There was a hanging man, another tweezer top here all the way to the downside. So for people that wants to buy Disney, I think maybe wait for it to show us some proper reversal. And it will come because it's a giant industry. And usually these guys will sort out their problems. They will see and they will fix what they made uh, a mistake on and they will come back. And But look at it. If you look at this falling wedge here, classic falling wedge here. What is a falling wedge? A falling wedge in the book of technical analysis are always a reversal pattern. But where's the reversal? The reversal will only be above $86.30. Make use of your stop loss of $82.39. And my target, of course, if we do project it, will be very close to your 40-week moving average. I just want to extend that just to show you. It will be very, very close to that. I uh, just want to get that. There you are. And you, oops, I just want to get it there. There you are. If you extend it, it will go above the 40-week moving average. That will be positive because the 40-week moving average sits at $94.70. And the target is $97.63. So only above the 40-week moving average, the medium to the long-term investors will be happy on the chart. But while it is below that, the momentum is down. But as we always know, a falling wedge will eventually trigger a beautiful relief bounce. But by the way, 
We're out of time for the moment. Visit our website, www.francedeclare.com for more info. And we will welcome you as a candle uh, reader. And then you can get all these wonderful opinions to teach yourself and to get more profitable in the market. Bye. Not by me, but by doing it yourself. All the best. We'll chat again.